So for completeness, I thought it would be a good idea to show how I finally finished uh, putting all the electronics on the printer. When I originally built this and uh, up until this point, uh, the wiring, all the boards had just been sitting on the bench and uh, there was a mass of wires going everywhere. So uh, yeah, this is what I did. So what I've done is I've mounted all of the electronics to a, another piece of my 12 mil ply, a single depth this time as it's uh, definitely strong enough. Uh, which you can see here um, basically this just performs a triangulation so it gives the uh, z-axis a good deal of extra support and uh, i use this to mount all the electronics to so that i can remove the whole printer away if i need to from the power supplies and the bench i have uh, not wired the power supplies directly in um, so i've connected them with some xt60 connectors here which uh, is good for 60 amps so yeah there's no problem there they then go into a blade fuse box, which, uh, yeah, as mentioned in previous videos, this is what replaces the poly fuses. So the poly fuses have been removed from the ramps and those contacts just bridged. So now everything runs through this blade fuse box, uh, which currently only has two fuses in. It has a 5 amp for the 12 volt supply and a 10 amp fuse for the 24 volt supply. Next up is my little board that I made that contains the external MOSFET for uh, driving the heated bed. So basically that 24 volt supply literally only goes through, well, to the bed and is grounded through the MOSFET on here. Also mounted on here is a little switching power supply that powers the Raspberry Pi. The sort of main big part of this really is this uh, red 3D printed part which is to mount the boards to um, and also to mount the arm of the LCD. The Arduino and the ramps itself uh, remain pretty much unchanged from what I've done from earlier videos. Uh, so you can see those if you want to see the modifications I made to that. But that basically just fits onto this board mount 3D printed part here. And the Raspberry Pi mounts into another part of the board mounting uh, 3D printed part. Um, and it is permanently connected to the ramps and also, as I mentioned, has its own little power supply. So it's powered up when the uh, printer is turned on. There is a network connection for it, which means that I just control the printer via Octoprint now over the network. So the LCD mounting arm also secures into this 3D printed part. As you can see, the actual uh, flexible arm is one of these. With it and the cable that carries all the signals and powers to the LCD module being wrapped up in some nice green braid. The wiring for the uh, LCD cable is covered in a great deal of depth in an earlier video, uh, so I won't be talking about that here. So other than that, I basically just tidied up all of the wiring um, and put it all in this green braiding to match my green 3D printed parts for the printer. Uh, so we've got a general luminous green thing going on. So I uh, mounted the whole thing to a repurposed office desk, which I managed to pick up for nothing. And to keep things as clean as possible, I have mounted uh, both power supplies uh, behind and underneath the desk. And after running it in this configuration, the braced side of the Z axis is now rock solid, but I could see some vibration on the right side. So I have decided to add a brace to that side as well, which makes it symmetric at least. And I secured each of the four corners of the y-axis with some little 3D printed parts. And as these parts may prove useful to somebody else, I will include the SDL for these parts in the post on my website, linked in the description. So here's a fairly poor photograph of the other end of the LCD arm. As you can see, the flexible coolant pipe uh, pushes into the back of another 3D printed part, which, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I will put the STL for this part on uh, the post on the website just in case anybody else wants it. And this is the other end in a little bit more detail of that flexible arm going into my uh, board mount uh, 3D printed part and secured in with the strangest shaped nut you have ever seen. And then I decided to make a spool holder which is, <laughs> which is made out of a, a refashioned close rail which uh, I came across a few weeks ago whilst clearing out. Uh, I, have, I was just about to throw it away and then I thought hmm, this might be useful to make a spool holder out of. So uh, yeah that is basically mounted up there and uh, you can just about see here uh, an LED strip light just to light things up again attached to the uh, 12 volt power supply 
so that it turns on with the printer. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, at some point I may make a cover for the electronics out of this piece of uh, little MDF jobby. Um, I'll probably yeah, cut some holes in it, probably mount a fan, put some mesh in it, so uh, I can still get the airflow through to keep everything cool. Uh, but that's kind of low priority really, because it's mostly aesthetic. Uh, other than that, that's the sort of physical stuff more or less done. There's only a couple of things left on my agenda. And uh, the first of which will be a power controller, uh, which will shut down the printer, well firstly when the, when the print job ends, uh, and secondly, it will monitor the temperatures of things which aren't being monitored. OK, so Marlin is monitoring the temperature of the heated bed and the hot end. But uh, there's nothing really monitoring some of these fairly cheap electronic components, like especially the power supply units, um, to make sure that they're not overheating and going up in smoke and generally burning the place down. So, yeah, going to make a power controller that monitors the temperature of various points which will I'll be able to send um, G code, well actually M code, to uh, at the end of the print so it'll shut everything down and also if the temperature of something gets a little bit iffy then it will also shut it down. So uh, yeah other than that the other thing I wanted to try and get done right back at the beginning was printing ABS because that's kind of what I need off the bat. Um, so we'll get to that. <laughs> So, yeah. Mm.